Hey guys, how's it going? So, doing something different tonight, something I would have never expected to actually be doing, but I, the more I show people this, the more I talk about it to people, the more people are like, you have to share this. You might see I'm wearing a Zach Bagans Haunted Museum t-shirt. I just went there, uh, this past weekend when I was in Vegas for the Metallica concert, an Ice Nine Kills. I felt this was appropriate because what I'm going to be discussing, I guess, is in regards to the paranormal. Now, I know some people are going to hear this story and they're going to watch these videos I put up and they're going to think it's fake and they're going to think it's bullshit and that I made it up or it's somehow staged or Here's the thing. Number one, I don't believe in the paranormal at all. Has this swayed me a little bit? Maybe a tiny bit. I can't explain it. I, what I'm going to tell you and show you, I can't explain. And it seems like the story just, it seems kind of ridiculous in a way, I guess. But here it is. So a lot of you know that um, people that follow me on social media know that I had two dogs pass away within like a three week span. One passed away at the vet during a procedure. And then the other one I had to put down, um, in my living room, uh, a little over a week ago. Uh, that was JC and they both currently reside right there. That's Zoe. And that's JC and those boxes. Those are their collars sitting on top of the boxes. Broke my heart. Pretty devastating. Um, JC was put down in the living room. A few days later, I went to this convention, Pensacon in Pensacola, Florida. When I got home on the following Monday, there was a box at my door and it was um, JC's ashes that had been shipped that box was in another box took me a while to get around to actually opening it but i did and uh you know i put it back there next to zoe that night i went to sleep um nay my girlfriend is in new york visiting her family and it was just me and mika my other dog so we went to bed this was a Monday night and around 3.30 a.m. we were awoke by just kind of a bang sound. It sounded like it came from downstairs where I'm sitting now. My bedroom is upstairs. I jumped up. She jumped up. So she heard it too. And I looked at my security cameras because I have a monitor right next to my bed. Didn't see anything out of the usual, out of the ordinary. Ended up going back to sleep. Then 7.30 a.m., the gardeners woke me up like they always do every Tuesday morning. So I'm laying there waiting for them to get done because it's very loud. And I'm looking at the monitors to see when they're going to leave. And I see them loading their equipment. Then all of a sudden I hear another bang. But this time it sounds like it's coming from the hallway outside my bedroom. I jump up. I open the door. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? Nothing. Nothing there. So I go back to bed and I'm not trying to sleep at this point. I'm just laying there and I grab my phone and I think to myself, you know, I'm going to go on here and look at my security system. And on the phone, I can go back and uh, go through the timelines. So I go through the timelines for like the front door, the driveway, backyard. I'm looking around, seeing nothing out of the ordinary. Then I just happened to look at the timeline for the living room and I saw something really odd. There was just multiple motion activities. And what happens when there's a motion activity, the cameras record 60 second snippets. There was over a hundred of these recordings. I'm tripping like what the hell? First thing that popped in my head is, you know, I got a doggy door. I'm like, I wonder if a cat got in or something was running around or anything, you know, some sort of animal of some sort, possum, I don't know. 
So I go back to when I went to bed and then I scroll forward to the first activity. Now I'm going to show you the video of the first activity. Now I want you to know that this room you're looking at is pitch dark. There are no windows at the front of the house in this area. And so there's no way light could come in, headlights or anything like that. And uh, you'll see a glow at the top left hand corner of the screen. That is another video camera. So you're seeing the, it's the infrared light that's kind of making a glow and it just stays stationary the whole time. Um, unfortunately, that camera doesn't record, only this one does in this particular room. So take a look at this and see what you think. Um, I will comment on it during the video. Now that just came out of the hallway from where my office is. This is all in real time. The film is not altered or sped up or anything. This is exactly as it was shot with a night vision camera. This room is pitch dark. If you were standing in this room, you wouldn't be able to see your hand in front of your face. It changes shape constantly. Eventually, it seems to like, I don't know if you want to say lose energy over time, but in the later videos, that was a cut right there because that first 60 second video ended. So this is another one. You'll see cuts randomly here and there between the different uh, 60 second clips that the motion detectors recorded. Um, what I was saying in the later videos, you'll see it looks more like a string of light. As you can see, there's no windows in the front of this room, so car lights wouldn't be coming through. My backyard windows, uh, there's a hill behind my house. There's, there's no way for light to get in unless you were standing in my backyard. You know, shining a light through the window, which wouldn't look like this. I did some tests uh, the next evening with a flashlight um, to see how it would pick up. And it looks like a flashlight. It doesn't look anything like this. Now this next video here, it's going to cut right here. And you can see it's starting. This is early morning now. See, You can see it coming down the stairs. Now it looks like a string of light. This is probably 6.30 a.m. You can see the light coming through the uh, shutters there in the dining room. And if you look at the far bottom right-hand corner there, those are also shutters that are open and light is coming in. So we are no longer really in night vision mode here. Um, it does go to color when all the lights are on, but this is now a pretty well-lit room, and you can still see this thing moving around. Now, right where it's hovering right now, that's the dog bed where JC was euthanized. There's another cut there. It seems to just kind of be hanging around at the spot where he passed away. Now, mind you, am I saying this is a ghost dog? I, you know, I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe, you know, I, I don't know what to say. Now it looks like it's heading upstairs again. There's kind of like the vaulted ceiling there. So like where it's going up, there is no s ceiling above it. It goes straight up. So it's strange, you know. When I first got up in the morning, the first thing I did was grab a flashlight and I was looking across the ceiling and at the camera, see it, you can see it coming down again, to see if there was anything dangling, a uh, cobweb, anything like that. But look at how it moves. It moves all over the room. 
different shapes moving from different parts of the room, not like if a cobweb was hanging, it wouldn't do this. Plus, notice how it stays straight. It doesn't sway. There's no sway in it. It moves in a perfect straight line, kind of, you know what I mean? It's, it's unexplainable. Now it's over there. Now where it's hanging out, right there is where the dog dish is. This is where the, the food and his water is. Again, coincidence. I'm just pointing it out. Now it's heading over to the corner of the room where the doggy door is. The doggy door is in the corner of that room. <laughs> I mean, if it was just dangling there in the middle, I would think there was an explanation. But the fact that this thing moves all over the room is just too freaking weird. Now there's another cut. Now it's just hanging over the dog food and the and the water bowl area. I can't explain this. I know there's going to be people that are going to watch this and say I'm full of crap. Uh, I altered it. This is some sort of stunt. You know, I'm just showing you guys what happened, what I dealt with my experience. There's more to this story I'm going to tell after this video that will probably even make you think it's more BS. I personally feel it's just a lot of crazy coincidence and the only thing I can't explain is this video and one of the other things that happened I will point out at the end of this video. There's another cut I believe I come downstairs here at some point. I'm carrying Mika. And I walk right up to this thing and I don't see it. And I stop right in front of it, which is really crazy. I stop right in front of it and I turn around. Watch this. I stop right there and I turn around. The reason I'm carrying her down is because... The gardener sometimes will leave the gates open, so I don't want to let her down right away because she'll run outside immediately. But for some reason, she doesn't run outside. She usually just bolts straight to the backyard, but she didn't this time for some reason. She's kind of hanging around here, and notice how she kind of stops and turns around. And I'm going out to make sure that the gates are locked. Now this is me tripping hard, trying to figure out what the hell is going on, looking around for anything, any sign of a something dangling, a cobweb, anything. I'm looking for, there's got to be an explanation. Okay, alfalfa there. I got a little alfalfa sprout hanging out in the back of my head. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> and now look behind me. There it is again. Now, there is a video missing, unfortunately. I probably shouldn't even tell you about it because you'll say I'm full of crap. But there was a video when I went outside to check those gates. That thing came all the way to the door and stayed there until I came in and then disappeared. That tripped me out. I don't have it because I was able to continually watch the videos after the clips. And it was a 60 second clip. That's why it stopped. But that one kind of freaked me out. Okay, guys, so I've strung together a series of various videos from that evening. Um, I have no explanation. I've shown it to some paranormal uh, experts. They had no explanation after they went through the, well, maybe this, maybe this, and I debunked, debunked, debunked. They had no explanation for it. Um, it kind of freaked me out. Uh and then, um, yeah, but there is there is a part of the story I have not told you. And even I told one of my best friends this story. When I got to this part, he said I was full of it. He goes, dude, you're, you're full of crap. You're, you're making this up. I'm like, dude, 
absolutely the truth. So when I went to bed that night, those boxes right there were sitting there. See these? See? The JC's collar was sitting here on top of JC's box. Zoe's collar sitting here on top of Zoe's box. When I came into the office that morning, after all this happened, those one was on top of the stack of the records and the one over here was on the floor. I took a picture of it. I'm going to show you right now. This is exactly what I saw when I came in. That there's no explanation for that. Nothing else in this room had fallen down. If there was an earthquake or something, my toy room has all kinds of stuff that are just kind of teetering and, you know, could easily fall over if there was a jolt of any kind. Those two things are the only things that fell. That is weird. Are we talking about ghost dog? I don't know what the hell we're talking about. I don't believe in ghosts, period. I don't believe in ghost dogs. You know, one of the paranormal guys said to me, maybe it was JC, you know, once his ashes came back to the house. And mind you, that's the room where he passed away. That maybe it was him transitioning to the other side. I don't know. So he asked me if I had, if he had, rather, JC, a favorite ball. And he did. And he said to put that with those in the living room, visible to the camera. I did that, see if anything happened the next night. Nothing, nothing at all has happened since that night. We're talking a hundred plus activities to absolutely nothing. Makes no sense at all. Freaky, weird. This is appropriate. Uh, I even showed Zach. I did show it to him and he was like, we may have to do an episode of your house. Um, but yeah, I mean, nothing's happened since. I'm glad nothing's happened because it was kind of freaky. Um, if it was a ghost of JC and he was cruising around, I'd be totally cool with it. But I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure a lot of people are going to go in here and say it's BS. Nope, that's not a ghost. That's that's Mika. That's Mika. Um, a lot of people are going to think it's BS, but... You know, I'm just putting it up here to kind of share an experience. You guys can talk talk amongst yourselves. Um, I I can't explain it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and let me know what you guys think.